What's up, friends? Bless you, bless you. I hope you're all doing well. You know, uh, we better celebrate and rejoice because victory is already in the bag. And uh, we better celebrate and rejoice because... The word of the Lord is true and the prophets have spoken. God has spoken. And uh, we know that it took the church to really wake up and to partner with God's word and to for us, the church, to really align ourselves with the word of the Lord. And that's why, you know, four years ago, we allowed the enemy to steal and to take the victory of President Donald J. Trump of the 46th presidency. Um, but you see, the church is much more awake and ready now. And we've been prepared in the last four years for the shenanigans and the nonsense that the enemy uh, has put up his sleeve. But I want to talk to you because uh, Fox News has officially announced that Donald J. Trump has won the presidency. So let's give God some praise for that. Give us some hearts and likes. Uh, Fox News has officially announced President Donald J. Trump has won the presidency. Amen. But it's interesting because, of course, CNN and uh, the other news agencies have not called it yet. But this is where it's really interesting because, hallelujah, we see, uh, we see President Trump in the lead in every swing state right now, in every sing swing state. Uh, Pennsylvania just got called, of course, by Fox News. And, and the reason why they're delaying uh, the victory or the final count of, of the votes, of course, is because they're trying to steal it. Is They're trying to make up votes and counts so that they could try to steal it. Um, but uh, Fox News has declared President Donald J. Trump as the president. And right now, as we speak, and I wish we had fancy technology so I could... You know, uh, do all that what Benny Johnson's doing or, you know, some of the other commentators are doing. Fox News is going to go live right now. Uh, but Fox News, they're about they're broadcasting pretty much the motorcade of President Donald J. Trump on route. Come on, somebody to the location in Mar-a-Lago or West Palm Beach, excuse me, for the victory and uh, for the victory speech. Come on, somebody. And so. Uh, he is on route in the motorcade, and what's interesting about this motorcade, uh, from what I read and heard, is that already there's been a transfer, I want you to comment transfer, there's already been a transfer of the presidential motorcade. So already President Trump is riding in the presidential motorcade, while Kamala's motorcade has been stripped down. Amen. Isn't that so profound and prophetic? So there's a stripping down of Jezebel. There's a stripping away of the loser, of the liar. Amen. And I believe right now, as even as President Trump is on route to make the victory speech, praise God, we still need to pray. Um, obviously, once again, Fox News has declared uh, President Trump as the winner of the 47th presidency. But um, we see that the other, um, we see that the other news channels have not yet pronounced it or announced it. Why? Because they're trying to steal the vote. Now they're saying Arizona and they're saying, praise the Lord, what, what other, uh, what other uh, state was it? They're saying Arizona uh, will be fully released, announced on Thursday. Okay, now the devil is a liar. On Thursday, it's going to be fully announced and released on Thursday. That's what they're saying. And they're also trying to say that, what other state here? I, I wrote it down here. They're also trying to say, uh, they're also trying to say, um, Okay, what, what other statement? I forget what I just read. But anyways, they're trying to steal the vote, of course. They're trying to steal uh, and make up elections. But again, Fox News has been announced as president. Praise the Lord, PTL. We need to celebrate, y'all. We need to celebrate and give God thanks because our celebration will actually secure the truth. I mean, it's a confirmation of the truth, right? The truth is the truth. So... 
um, you know, we need to celebrate and praise God because the Lord has spoken, the prophets have spoken, and God has heard our prayers, okay? And even us, we're, we've been here in D.C. for the last day and a half praying up a storm on site, on location, in proximity, in D.C., uh, and uh, it's been so powerful. Oh, Shaka, and we know that God's been with us and God has met us. Somebody say amen. But uh, <laughs> it's awesome because... Uh, even, you know, Kamala Harris has been here in D.C. at Howard University in Washington, D.C., and they were preparing for her to make her victory speech. But it's so funny because she didn't even come out like the sore, sorry loser she is. She didn't even come out, and one of the representatives came out and announced that Kamala Harris will not be making a speech tonight or appearing at all. So all of a sudden, everybody in the Democratic side who was there to celebrate the victory of Kamala, the Jezebel Harris, they all began to scatter and they all began to leave. And, um, you know, some people are saying, is this premature? Is this premature? Um, I want to tell you, friends, praise the Lord, my good friend, Pastor Brian Trejo, ho, <clears throat> shared a, a photo on Instagram of a red tsunami wave over America. God bless you, my friend, a man of God. And he turned off the comments. I, I know why you would do that. But um, some people are saying, is it premature for us to celebrate? Is it premature for us to, um, you know, praise the Lord in this way right now, or even to declare President Trump as the fully elected, selected, finalized president, the 47th president of America. Is it, is it premature? I don't think it is, friends, because you have to understand this, hear me. Um, every swing state is up and up for President Trump, every swing state. And we understand that the swing states are the battleground states or the places of focus. And I, I'm just being reminded, of course, Lance Wallnow, a good friend of ours, great mentor man of God. But Lance Wallnow uh, did a tour of the battleground states, which is the swing states this year, uh, with Mario Murillo and other men and women of God, uh, Gene Bailey, a flashpoint. And, you know, and so there's been a strategic... Uh, prophetic call for us to focus into the swing states. And, uh, you know, so some people are saying, is it too early for it? We shouldn't gloat. We shouldn't boast. Uh, you know, we shouldn't be uh, prematurely celebrating right now. But we have to understand that even though CNN and the, the leftist news and even though Google and the world is trying to uh, stop the vote, steal the vote, and they're trying to sabotage the final countdown and release, really, like President Trump said, this thing is too big to rig, too huge, okay? And every swing state is currently in the up and up, is currently in the obvious uh, victory pro-Trump for President Trump. And, uh, you know, uh, let, let me uh, get some of the polls over here. Shut up, let me get some of the polls over here. But every swing state is in the up and up for President Trump. Every swing state. So this is, look at this, New York Post. Showing polls for Harris searches, but not Trump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Google. Google, be quiet, shut up. Um, Google polls. Where are the polls at? Where are the polls at? And it is 2 a.m. here in Washington, D.C. in the East Coast. So let's continue to celebrate. Yeah, Prophet Alana says, pray against war as well, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Actually, I'll talk about now because we've been here in D.C. for the last few days. And we've been touring around D.C., prayer walking, prayer scootering in D.C. And it's really interesting, y'all. I mean, the White House, the Capitol. And, you know, when I was there on... One six, you catch my drift at the Capitol. I was there at one six, and from then to now, I, I mean, the Capitol is like boarded up. I mean, walls upon walls, like Harris walls, right? And then uh, the White House has walls upon walls, and just everywhere in D.C., every federal governmental building that we've driven by, we've walked by, is gated up. It is hilarious. It's so unusual. But every swing state is in the up and up for President Donald J. Trump. I don't know why I can't 
probably bring this up on my laptop. Uh, I was, I've been reviewing everything for hours, of course, on my phone. Praise God. But here's a few things that we need to pray against. Um, or we need to pray for, pray into. Um, number one, uh, we need to continue to pray for President Trump's protection, okay? Uh, we've been here in D.C. and we've talked with a number of interesting folk who are on the grounds, you know, in the works in D.C. And uh, we need to continue to pray for the protection of President Donald J. Trump. Um, even from now, hear me, folks, from now to January 20. And January 20 is, of course... It is the first official day where the president is inaugurated into uh, their office. And so from now till January 20th, we need to pray for continual protection for President Donald J. Trump. Um, number two, um, of course, we see that the swing states are so up and up for President Trump. But we need to pray against any rigging, any stealing, any counterfeit votes. Uh, that will try to sabotage this victory, okay? That will try to sabotage this victory. Um, already Kamala knows that she's lost. Everybody knows that she's lost. She's been a loser her whole life. Um, but uh, we need to pray against any of uh, stealing late night ballots, you know, dead dogs, dead cats, dead squirrels, you know, voting in the middle of the night. And so that's that. And number three, what we need to pray for is we need to pray that there will be no outbreak of riots and protests. Now, we know that this is the leftist handbook. This is uh, the common thing that the leftists do all the time. You know, they whine and they cry and they throw a tantrum and they throw a fit. And just because they have rainbow colored hair, they think that they're entitled to destroy things or they think in their so-called whatever privilege, they can do whatever the heck they want. But you know, we need to pray against riots and protests. And of course, a lot of it is backed up by Soros and backed up by the, uh, you know, the One World Order. But we need to pray against tyranny. We need to pray against tyranny because what could happen is that, of course, the National Guard has been sent into Washington and Oregon State already. What can happen is a form of martial law. What can happen is a form of martial law that will take place because there are some sort of unrest or some sort of, uh, you know, uncivil uh, type of thing that takes place, uh, set up really, where they have to, you know, release martial law and they have to try to control uh, federally and the devil is a liar in that case. Now, I did talk with somebody recently that uh, I will not disclose any more information, but they're in the in works with a number of things, but this person said that uh, possibly the Democrats will try to take out Biden. Of course, we know that Biden's clone doppelganger has been acting for the last, I don't know, few months or year. But, you know, people are, are you know, a gentleman, a person told me who's in the work said that possibly the left has tried to take out Biden officially so that Kamala will be quickly enacted as the new sitting president. Of course, she is the VP, which is the Velociraptor. That's in her because she ain't no vice president. So uh, that is some of the things that we must be aware of and we must pray into. Now, you know, I want to prophesy good news is here and good news is coming. Amen. Good news is here and good news is coming. And I believe that Donald J. Trump has won. Uh, Trump has won. Absolutely. Uh, and like I said, the swing states are all in the up and up. Good news all around for President Trump. Good news for America, for us. Amen. Good news all around. And right now, President Trump, like I said, he is on route in his motorcade, the presidential motorcade, not just a candidate motorcade, but a presidential motorcade. Uh, he is on route to give the, the victory speech. Amen. Uh, this is an exciting day. Uh, it is, you know, past 2 a.m. here. And, um, you know, we've been praying uh, here at the DMV Prayer Strike for hours. And uh, God is good. He will move on our behalf. And the spirit of the living God, um, you know, he's not done with America, friends. He's not done with America, folks. Um, but I do believe that we need to continue to pray. 
um, celebrate and praise God, absolutely, because the victory is sure, the victory is in the bag, 1,000%. And if they try to steal this presidential election, it's just going to be so obvious because Trump is in the lead, absolutely killing and crushing in every swing state. And so it's already done. It's already done. And of course, the other news agencies and the other tech companies are trying to delay as much as possible so that they could try to do this or that. So, but, you know, Trump is in the lead in every swing state. So it's already ban done finito. Somebody say that. So I believe Trump won. And I believe that we need to celebrate. And I believe we need to thank and praise God. Somebody said he got 277 already. Honestly, in every swing state, it is a landslide. It's a landslide. Someone say landslide Trump. It is a landslide for President Donald J. Trump, 1,000%. Um, oh, that's right. I see it on Fox News, Trump 277, Harris 226. <laughs> yeah, right, though. Race has been called West Virginia. I don't even know how some of these states have still, you know, with the popular vote, the electoral vote, voted for president or voted for Kamala Harris. I don't even know how these people are just so insane in the membrane to do such a thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's 270 to win the electoral votes. So here we are, friends. It's a great day in America. It's a great day for the world. It is a great day, and truly it's a landslide, and though it's been delayed, it uh, has been released, and that is the word and the will of God, and we've been praying into this, we've been standing on this word, we've been prophesying it, out of the mouth of two or three shall be established, the prophets have spoken, God has spoken, Jezebel is punked out as the punk that she is, he is, it is. And uh, we're seeing victory in the United States of America. So celebrate and praise God. Yo, like I said, number one, we need to pray for the safety protection of Trump, even from now today, all the way to January 20th. Because uh, you already know, Iran, China, uh, you know, these people are not going to stop until, you know, something is done, right? So we need to pray for Trump protection. Number two, pray that in every swing state, that there will be no stealing or stopping of the vote, but that the true final counts will come forth. Election integrity, but Trump is in the up and up of every swing state. And then number three, pray against any civil war, protests, riots, martial law, unrest, because the devil is a liar and he is at work. You know, he's a sore loser. You know, he's a sore loser. And so, you know, like Arizona, and I, f I forgot what other state I read, they're declaring that they're going to announce the final victor on Thursday, right? Uh, but the devil is a liar, friend. So, so let's praise God. Let's celebrate. It is official. In a few minutes, President Donald J. Trump will arrive at his victory speech. Right now, live on Fox News, live time, real time. Amen. And let's see if uh, CNN has conceded yet. Shrink, shrinking Harris's possibility past the victory. You know, it's it's funny, right? Because oh, look at that. So on the CNN currently, oh my gosh. On CNN. It says Trump is at 266 and Harris is at 188. Listen, y'all, listen. CNN is saying Trump is at 266, just four more to 270. And Harris is at 188. It's like no matter how much they try to delay and no matter how much they're trying to like wedge time in between, to try to lie, manipulate, and sabotage. No matter how much they're trying to do, <laughs> it's hilarious because they're trying to make it seem like Kamala still has a chance, right? That Kamala still has a chance. The Mamala, the Kamala or still like cam cam camel meal tea, still has a chance. <laughs> oh, shut up, Blata. 
cheese is sure good. It's funny, I mean, look at that latest polls. What is this, ABC News, you lying piece of work? Says Pennsylvania's even, <laughs> Nevada's even, yeah, right, Georgia for Trump, North Carolina. It's so funny. It's like, how far can we stretch the string of lies? How far can we stretch this? That's what they're trying to do. So it gives an illusion. But CNN, y'all, praise the Lord. Lifetime. Trump is ahead 266. And Harris, 62 million votes. Who would vote for Harris? I'm telling you, 62 million? Mm. God is good. God is good. God is good. So, I'm about to end this. I hope you've enjoyed this little watch party with me. But I'm about to end this. I've already said, uh, shared some of my thoughts and points. But uh, as I end this tonight, I want to end with this question here. Did the prophets get it wrong? Did the prophets get it wrong? There's Vivek Ramaswamy at the Trump celebration. Did the prophets get it wrong? And if they did, if they didn't, okay. Then where are the apologies? Where are the public statements of repentance? Where are the tribunals? The committees, where are the people of leadership, so-called, of the higher-ups that are coming out, repenting, apologizing, that are admitting the truth? Where, where, where are they? And let me tell you, friends, too many so-called prophets and prophetic people have become muzzled by Jezebel, silenced by fear, silenced by a political PC correct spirit, and too many prophets, prophetic people, and I get it, you know? Uh, we can get it wrong, absolutely. None of us are perfect. None of us are on point 100% all the time. We're human, we're fallible. That's why we must depend on the Holy Ghost. But too many prophets, prophetic people, we've stopped being prophetic. Our job, duty, role is to speak the word of God, not to bend towards the fear of man. And uh, let me tell you, friends, God is about to vindicate the prophets. And I prophesy a new move of the prophetic is about to hit planet Earth. I'm telling you, it's harvest time, revival time. And even if somehow Kamala won, even if somehow in the middle of the night, the enemy comes in and sows tares. Even if somehow in the middle of the night, the thief came in and like a thief in the night, even somehow, it would still be revival time in America. It would still be harvest time in Jesus' name. That, that wouldn't have affected anything, but God has given us a grace window. As the Lord spoke to me about this new year, 2025, at 5785, that God is going to extend grace and mercy to America. Somebody say amen. God is going to extend grace and mercy to America, to the life of King Hezekiah. Zikarabratata. Thank you, Jesus. Well, it's 2.20 a.m. here. Let's celebrate and let's praise God. For the victory of President Donald J. Trump. Amen. He is now the 47th president of America. And in fact, he was the 46th as well. But he's now the 47th president. But we need to pray for his protection. Pray that from now till even the next few days. We're going to see everything come forth. 
everything come And I'm telling you, people who tried to interfere with the elections and with the ballots, they're going to be indicted this time. Things have changed. It's not, it's not four years ago. Things have changed. It's not 2016 anymore or 2020 anymore. I'm sorry. Things have changed. People are going to be indicted and they're going to be dealt with severely at the federal court level and by God as well. Um, but praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Fox News calls Trump the victor at 277. Let's just... I just want to uh, end with this word of prayer together, y'all. Um, Sierra Batiara Brata. Let's end with this word of prayer here. But yes, praise God to celebrate. Let's end with this word of prayer. You know, according to CNN. Okay, here we go. According to CNN, these are the states that are still. <laughs> according to CNN, that's like listening to a child who thinks that they're a transgender, right? But uh, according to CNN, and this is like the, the, the least of the least, right? So, but anyways, Arizona, President Trump is only, only 30,000 ahead in Arizona, which is so not true. You know that there's a red wave in Arizona even with Kerry Lake. But let's pray right now for Arizona. Let's pray that Arizona gets fully flipped and we see the word of the Lord come to pass in Arizona. So Father, thank you for Arizona and for breakthrough in the state of Arizona. We declare victory in Jesus' name, amen. Um, now, this is gonna be interesting. Michigan, y'all, Michigan is another swing state. According to CNN, President Trump is at 2.200 thousand, while Kamala is at 1.9 million. So allegedly Trump is in the lead for 300 thousand, which is a huge lead. Like I said, Trump is in the up and up of these swing states. Oh, come on, bang, bang. And this is CNN, so you know, like, you have to have a dash or a whole bag of salt with CNN. But uh, let's pray for Michigan. Father, thank you for victory uh, for President Donald J. Trump in Michigan in Jesus' name. And that'll be 15 electoral votes. Let's go to Minnesota. Minnesota has 10 electoral votes. That's also a swing state. Now, CNN is lying, as always, and is saying that Kamala has a hundred thousand votes ahead of Trump, which is a total farce. But I believe Minnesota, y'all, it's still not too late for Minnesota for Trump. So Father, thank you for Minnesota. And once again, Fox News has declared Trump as the victor of 277. But we want to be on the safe side and err on the side of let's keep fighting until they say uncle, okay? So Minnesota in Jesus' name, even Maine. Maine is a small state. Nevada, okay? Nevada, New Hampshire. We already know New Hampshire flipped. What are they saying? What are they doing? Nevada, Trump is in the lead. New Hampshire, Trump won. North Carolina was a big one for Trump. Come on, somebody, 16 electoral votes. Wow, thank you, Father. And last but not least, Wisconsin. Wisconsin has 10 electoral votes, and Trump is currently in the lead of Wisconsin. Praise God. Follow the races. Get out of here, please. And Trump is in the, in the lead with at least 100 plus thousand votes uh, in Wisconsin, according to CNN. But it is not finalized yet. So let's pray for Wisconsin. Father, thank you for the fire of God in Wisconsin. Amen, amen, and amen. Wow. According to CNN, Donald Trump's at 266. 
just four away. So any one of these states, bam, puts it in the bag. Do you see how close it is? But it's not even close. Do you see how secure and sure it is? Friends, President Donald J. Trump is the official 47th president of the United States. And here we are. This is his victory speech on Fox News with Barron, First Lady Melania. Friends, I love you. Let's go watch the Fox News. There's Don Jr. There's Dana White. Eric Trump, J.D. Vance. Friends, I want to encourage you, go to Fox News right now and let's watch the victory speech of President Donald J. Trump. I love you all. God bless you. God bless America. God bless President Donald J. Trump. It's true. Trump has officially won. But we must pray. We must pray. God bless.